We walk into this bar, and one of the difficult parts about being a woman, besides everything, is that, <laughs> it's really hard, is that you're constantly battling with yourself. In the long run, we're battling our weight, hair color, wrinkles, minute to minute. It's just an adjustment of your hair and your bra and your underwear and your makeup and your mustache. Braid it, beat it, set it. You're always <laughs> doing something. Because if one thing is off, then the night is ruined, Scott, okay? One time I left my house without mascara on, I did a U-turn on a four-lane highway. Like, no! They will see the whites of my eyes. <laughs> Everything has to be perfect. And guys, it's exhausting. It's exhausting being a girl. Did you know, fun scientific fact that I made up on the way here, that women get four minutes out of every night, four minutes out of every night where our brain sends a message to our body saying, everything's okay, stop messing with it. Four minutes out of every night where your brain sends a message to your body like homeostasis achieved. <laughs> And the rest of the time, it just mayhem. Everything has to be perfect. So we walk into this bar. My first thought, I got to fix my lip liner. Now, <laughs> I'm not even a big lip liner wearer, but in that moment, it was everything. <laughs> in that moment, I believed fixing my lip liner is what stood between me and eternal happiness, OK? I had to take a liner. I had to find my liner and line my chola lips, OK? That's what I had to do. <laughs> So glad that I got a response in North Carolina, nothing. Okay. <laughs> had to fix my lip liner, had to be right then. To the gentleman in the room, I don't expect you to understand the urgency with which I had to fix my lip liner. The only thing I could liken it to in male culture is like when you feel you have to adjust your balls. Similar immediacy, <laughs> as we've seen, unfortunately. <laughs> when you feel it's got to happen, it's got to happen now. Go, go, go in front of children. Christmas Eve, family portrait. Messing with my dick. <laughs> Messing with my dick in public. <laughs> Woo! It's a dick puzzle. I'm solving it now. Maximum comfort at any cost. This is my right. Nancy, get off my back. So, <laughs> so many guys right now have to adjust. They're like, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I believe that's what Elvis was doing. <laughs> Makes sense. Needed my liner. Now you understand that I needed it, guys, okay? Needed the fucking liner. That means I had to find the liner in my bag. However, I had a big bag. <laughs> There's a very specific way that women will search for something when we have a big bag. What do you do? You take a designated search claw <laughs> and you plunge it. Never breaking eye contact with your prey, I mean your date. <laughs> Notice I haven't blinked Chicago, dedication to acting. <laughs> the constant eye contact being a reminder that, yes, I can multitask and keep talking. I'll make a great partner, marry me. <laughs> Meanwhile, to the outside world, it looks like you're wrestling with a very small bass. If you're a real pro, you keep the conversation moving. Still haven't blinked, by the way. If you're a real pro, you keep the conversation moving. I'm listening, I'm listening. Keep talking, keep talking. I can look and listen. Say fan duel one more time, motherfucker. I'm listening. <laughs> you're digging around in there. Meanwhile, as a woman, you're having to come to terms with the seventh layer of hell that is the bottom of your bag. It's just a graveyard of dismembered pens. There's coins. Why is there always a Nature's Valley granola bar crumbled? <laughs> you stick your hand down. You come up with oats between your fingernails. You're like, ow! 